our team has been hard at work on improving just the UX, the UI, everything surrounding Grain. Um, kind of like I mentioned, the Jade setup flows are going to be changing, get a lot more um, educational. There's going to be easier ways to get into your wallet, faster ways to get into your wallet. Um, the whole UX UI is changing to where Bitcoin and Liquid will now be accessible under one wallet if you want them to. If you don't want them to, you don't need to add it, but it'll be very simple to add a, a Liquid wallet and eventually in the future add a Lightning wallet and just do all these things in one place instead of how it's segregated now where you need a separate recovery phrase and wallet for each one. It's all going to be in one place, which is going to make you be able to interact with Bitcoin however you want to and whatever, whatever layer you want to use, you're going to be able to use um, very seamlessly. We're working on some more watch only capabilities so where you can use your jade uh, to receive you can receive funds to your jade wallet without having it plugged in for single sig um, and eventually add some more hardware hardware integrations too so a lot of new stuff coming to green and then just in general i think like we said with self-custody kind of becoming more important and more prominent just in general yeah. i think we're going to see a lot of really interesting solutions a lot of people building on uh on the stuff things like miniscript building some really cool you know redundant uh, less error prone self custody options to make sure that everyone can can do this if they want to. That if they make a mistake, their Bitcoin's not gone. Um, it's going to be a huge year for that, and I think it's just going to continue to to grow and blow up in the next in the next few as well.